My nutrition for me is macro counting. It's a more or less just counting calories, but you break it into the three categories of macros, which is protein, carbs, and fat. And each one of those has a certain, an allotted amount of calories per gram. So you just break your calories up, break them into the macros, and then every day I'm trying to hit those certain macros. For me and my training level, what that looks like is actually eating a ton and a ton of protein and a ton of carbs. So tracking that just makes me, it's on like the opposite end of what most people think of when counting calories is I'm trying to make sure that I'm getting enough versus not eating too much. The number one piece of advice I'd give for nutrition for anybody in general, but specifically for ranchers and farmers is to focus on the protein first. It's the one macro that we as a population generally under eat. Um, it's maybe the least sexy of all the macros to eat, um, but it is by far the most important, especially if you're trying to put on the mass or lose body fat. It's the macro that is going to help both of those avenues, no matter what your goals are. Um, and typically it tends to be under eaten. So focusing on eating protein at every single meal would be the first nutrition tip I'd give for anybody, but particularly ranchers and farmers, which is ironic because that's what we raise for the most part. Some high protein snacks that I would imagine like my dad is taking with him to work, so ranchers would take to work or farmers, um, would be like beef jerky, hard boiled eggs, maybe Greek yogurt, deli meat. Um, overnight oats is really popular right now. It's an easy thing that you can add like a scoop of protein or maybe Greek yogurt too as well. Um, stuff that you can take with you on the go because I know that's one thing that like my family struggles with when they're ranching is that they don't ever just stop to eat they always wanna be eating on the go. So something that you could eat while you're in a tractor or eating between pens, going to one cattle pen to the next cattle pen or whatever, something that's quick. So a sack lunch that could be a really good option for a rancher or a farmer would be your classic just sandwich. Um, the biggest point of that part is you wanna pack all the protein onto it that you can. So whether that looks like a ton of deli meat or maybe leftover chicken or steak or something from the night before, putting as much protein on there as you can, and then you just round it out. So your bread's gonna be your carb. You could add mayonnaise or like avocado or something for your fat. And then again, focusing on that protein being like, no pun intended, but the meat of your sandwich. <laughs> A good option for nutrition aspect for ranchers or farmers, something that I like to advocate for because it's simple, is hand-sized portioning. Most ranchers and farmers are not going to get out their food scale and weigh all of their things. Um, but everybody has a hand and it's really something really easy to reference. So a palm is something that we reference for protein. And for most men, you're gonna be looking to eat four to five, even maybe four to six palms of protein every day. Um, and that's about 25 grams of protein. So depending on your body weight, we typically recommend a gram, one gram to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So for me, for instance, if I weigh 160 pounds, I'd be aiming to eat about 160 grams of protein. So you would just think, okay, like 160 divided by 25, that's how many palms of protein I'm gonna be eating that day. Um, a handful is what we look at, are looking for for carbs. So that could be anything like rice or oatmeal, sweet potatoes, anything that's a dense carb. And then veggies are kind of your free for all. So it's like a big handful, open hand. And we want as many of those per meal as we can get because most of the population, but especially ranchers and farmers, we tend to skip the veggie part of the meal just because it's not as easy maybe to pack with us out on the ranch or quickly grab. Um, but we want to add as many of those handfuls to whatever meal it is that we're building. So nutrition is so important for the agri agriculture community, um, the population in general. But when I think of ranchers and farmers, what I tend to think about is that they're athletes, right? Like they're out on their feet all day, every day, working their butts off. So if they're not feeding to fuel their performance, they're gonna feel not good and they're gonna drag and then they're not gonna get as much done. And I think every rancher and farmer knows that for the most part, they're the breadwinner bread winner of their family. So I think any opportunity they can get to thrive more and get more work done is they're gonna take, up, take you up on it. So that one simple thing of just making sure you're getting enough nutrition can be the game changer of just making sure that you have the energy to do what you need to do every day. And beyond that, it also helps just your regular everyday things like sleep. Um, eating enough calories oftentimes will improve people's sleep if they're eating the right amount 
of the right things will typically help them sleep, which is one thing I think a lot of farmers and ranchers probably lack of, lack a little bit of, is good quality sleep. Um, and it also is a good measure to prevent injury. So if you're not eating enough, your body kicks off the things that are not important. So injury prevention, if you're not eating enough and you're doing something silly like picking up a bag of grain and you hurt your back, a good chance is that that injury is gonna take a lot longer to heal if you're not even giving it the right amount of nutrition to exist every day, let alone heal something that's going on in your body. And same goes for sickness.